Let's solve this differential equation. We have the parentheses with t plus y plus 1 inside, and then we multiply with dt, and then we minus dy, and this is equal to 0. Alright, this doesn't look like a linear differential equation to me. This does, right? Here is the standard form. We must have the derivative first, and then we add it with some function in terms of its independent variable, and then multiply by y. Everything else should be on the right-hand side. Here, we are not using x. Here, we are using t. Anyways, we must have the derivative first, right? So to do so, in this case, I want to create that dy dt. I can do so by adding the dy on both sides, and we will have, this is just the t plus y plus 1 dt, and this is equal to the dy on the right-hand side. And right here, I can just divide dt on both sides. So we will have t plus y plus 1 equals to dy dt, okay? So we get the derivative right here. And now I also have to have the y. And this right here is just some function in terms of the independent variable. Well, I must have the y. And this right here, this plus y, I can just subtract y on both sides, isn't it? In that case, you will see we have the dy dt, and let me put down the minus y, and you see this is equal to t plus 1. That's great. This is the standard form now. With this being said, we can use the integrating factor and be sure you look for the correct p of t in this case. <laughs> right here, p of t, the function in front of the y in this case is negative 1. And don't forget, you have to remember the formula for the integrating factor, okay? So let's work that out. Mu of t in this case is going to be e and raised to the power of the integral. Integral of p of t, which is just negative 1 and 1 to dt. And let's work this out real quick. This is just e. The integral of negative 1 in the t world is just negative t. And don't worry about the plus e or whatnot. This is enough. And we come back to here. We multiply everything by the integrating factor, which is e raised to the negative t power, and this is what we will get. On the left-hand side, we will have e to the negative t dy dt, and then this times that is negative e to the negative t times y, and this is equal to this times that. And let me write this down as parentheses t plus 1 times e to the negative t, okay? Anyways, right here on the left-hand side, this is nothing but just the derivative of e to the negative t times y. Do a quick check. The derivative of this, right, we use the product rule. We keep the first function, and then we multiply by the derivative of the second function, which is dy dt. And then we add it with, right, we add it with, we keep the second function, and we multiply by the derivative of the first, which you repeat, e to the negative t. But then, right here, because of the chain rule, you have to multiply by the derivative of negative t, which is negative 1. That's how it makes this negative. So this right here, we force it to be the derivative of a product, right? And on the right-hand side, this is what we have, parentheses t plus 1 times e to the negative t. What's next? Get rid of the derivative, right? So we can just integrate, and we'll integrate both sides. So that this and that will cancel. Right here, we'll just have e to the negative t times y. Don't worry about the plus c. This is equal to the integral of t plus 1, e to the negative t. What do we need to do? Integration by part, right? And in that case, of course, I'll show you guys with the di method. And let me do that real quick right here for you guys. This is why I keep it as, as a parenthesis, because I want to differentiate this, which is t plus 1, okay? And I'll integrate e to the negative t. And don't forget, on the side, I need to have the signs, plus, minus, plus, minus, and three rows will be enough, okay? You will see. Let's go ahead and work this out. Differentiating t plus 1, we get 1. Right, this is just this going to give us 0, the root of t is 1. One more time, you get 0. We stop. Whenever you see a 0 in the d column, we stop. 
All right, now, integrating e to the negative t will get this, e to the negative t, but then divided by the derivative of negative t, which is negative 1. So you divide by negative 1, you have negative like this. Do it again, this stays, e to the negative t. This was negative, and then you have to divide by negative again, so it becomes positive, okay? All right. Diagonals are the answers. So this right here will give us positive t plus 1 times negative e to the negative t. So it's negative parentheses t plus 1 times e to the negative t, like that. Next, we have negative 1 times positive e to the negative t. So it's minus e to the negative t. All right? And this is it. We have a zero, so there's no other integrals that I would work out. This is the answer for this integral. And right here, be sure you add a constant, and I'll just put down plus c right here. This one c right here, it's enough, okay? So what's next? Well, I want to isolate the y. Let me divide everything by e to the negative t. This turn I'll divide it by e to the negative t. I'll divide this by e to the negative t. I'll also divide this by e to the negative t. So that this and that will cancel. Finally, we get the y by itself. And this is equal to, right here, you see that e to the negative t and this e to the negative t t will cancel. Of course, right here, you can just distribute, distribute. You get negative t minus one. And for this right here, this and that will cancel. So you will just have negative one. And this right here, we have e to the negative t in the denominator, so it's the same as saying plus c e to the positive t, like this. Well, finally, what can we do? Of course, negative one, negative one, that's minus two. So uh, that's what we can write down at the end, right? So finally, y is equal to negative t minus 2 plus c e to the t's power. And of course, do not say negative 2 plus c, <laughs> it's another constant. No, this is c times that. So you cannot do anything with the negative 2 and the c. And this right here is it.